What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're gonna go over how to make a detail view for our list view. So let me show you what that's gonna look like real quick. So on our home page here, we have a couple trips listed. If we click on one of these trips, it's gonna now bring us to a detail page. And as you can see right now, it's just repeating the title of the trip or the location of the trip rather. But you can see if we scroll down, you'll be able to see all that data. And then as you scroll back up, the image pops back up. So if you do the other one, the data is different as we would expect. Let's get into it. All right, so to get started, let's, let's make it so that we can tap these cards and it'll bring us to a new page. So first open up this uh, home view, which is the page here, and go ahead and find this towards the bottom, this build trip card, which is actually gonna build the one card here. And you can see it's, a, it's really just a container with a card in it. Uh, we we need to put an inkwell inside of this card, which will then allow it to be clickable. So on the first child element here, which happens to be padding, go ahead and wrap that in a new widget. And this new widget will be, again, the inkwell. And then this inkwell now, we can add a, we have the child element, which I'm just gonna collapse that because we're not really gonna deal with that and we can add an on tap method here. So this will again just be a pretty simple um, a pretty simple navigation, but for for right now let's just go ahead and print out the uh, trips uh, <clears throat> let's print out the trips title. If you save this and you and you click on your card, you can see it's printing out that title right there. Great, so now we actually need to set up a new view that we're gonna actually navigate here when we click on that. So under the, uh, under the views, just go ahead and add a new file, a new Dart file, and we're going to call it the uh, detail trip view. All right, the first thing we're going to add in this trip detail view is the material package as well as our trip model package. And then we're going to uh, we're going to create a stateless widget for now, just to start. And then if it needs to be stateful later, we can always convert it. Uh, so detail trip view. And for anyone that is just kind of jumping in now, we have our models here, and our model has a trip. So the trip is really just a collection of these variables right here which are actually pulled from Firebase and displayed on the trip card. So is good. We want, we want this uh, class of data to be passed into this detail trip view. So to write that, it's gonna be a final here and we're going to be, it's gonna be a trip type and we're just gonna call it the trip. Then we need to initialize our detail trip view with this trip. So that's going to be uh, this line here. And that just needs a semicolon and good. So now this is expecting a trip object to be passed in when we when we navigate to this detail trip view. Uh, let's quickly go ahead and just print out some text here and we'll just do the trip title. Uh, not, in not in a string there. All right, and now, now we have this view that we can navigate to, so back in our back actually in our home view. Instead of printing the trip title here, we're actually gonna use the navigator push and go to that new route we just created. So it's gonna look like this. All right, so you can see the detailed trip view is not actually uh, or it's throwing an error and that's just because we need to import it. So go ahead and add that, which is just gonna be the detail trip view there. And you can also see that we're passing this trip variable. This trip variable is the one in the detail trip view and we're giving it the trip variable that is actually from our home view. So uh, that might, that might seem a little confusing because they're, the variables are named the same, but basically this trip right here which we're getting from the snapshot from Firebase. This trip variable is this trip variable over here. And then that's being set to the trip variable that's over in our uh, our detail trip view as trip again. So we're just keeping the same name of it. 
um, to keep it consistent, but really we're just passing data. That's all this is. We're passing this object of a trip, which you can see in the home view is, um, again, it's coming from here, which is just a trip, which is pulled from the snapshot, which again is right here. So it should have all these variables. And actually one that's missing here, which let's add real quick, is gonna be that photo reference, uh, which we set up, I believe in the last video, but our snapshot should have a photo reference, which is gonna be the reference to the image um, for, Google, for the Google image. And you can see right here in the, right above where we're actually uploading to Firebase, we're uploading this photo reference. So when we're pulling from Firebase, which is this, which is this uh, snapshot here. We wanna, we wanna put that photo reference as part, of our, um, as part of our trip. Great, so now that we're navigating to the trip, if we click on this, you should see we have our trip title up here. Uh, obviously that doesn't look great and that's because we don't really have this set up yet in our trip, in our detailed trip view. So we're gonna set this up kind of similar to that date view picker in a, when we're creating a new trip. So we want the image to be up here and then we're gonna have content below it. So first let's go ahead and make this uh, return a scaffold. And then the body of the scaffold is actually gonna start with a center and the body or the child of that will then have a custom scroll view because we're, we're expecting this to have uh, more content that will spill off the page. Go ahead and add the semicolon there before we forget. Then the custom scroll view is going to have, um, it's actually gonna be made up of slivers. And if you wanna learn more about that, check out the, the previous video, which goes more into depth of the slivers. So this first sliver we're gonna want for the app var. And as I said, back in our, back when we created this for the date view, we're using this sliver here that puts basically that image, that large image, the photo reference. So we can actually copy this and we're going to refactor it a little bit. So, so you'll see um, the title here we can change to be, you know, trip details, or maybe even we want to put the title there. Um, for now, we'll leave that green. The height is good. The background here, we have a, we have a function called get image back in our uh, trip date view, our new trip date view. We have this get image function. So we want to actually be able to reuse this and access it from both this area, this date view, and then also in our trip details. So let's go ahead and actually copy this whole function and move it into our trip model. And then we can start calling it just directly from the model instead of having it tied uh, to just the date view there. So get image is not going to need to take the photo reference because it's actually going to know the photo reference just based on just because it is part of the model. So again, the photo reference is already set up here. So we can just keep we can just remove that as a parameter. Um, the next thing we don't really need to have the max height anymore since we're not using that. So just remove that the places API key is just going to need to be import. So if you go back to the trip details, um, sorry if you go back to the date view you can see up at the top we have our credentials file that we're importing so just go ahead and import that there and now we should have the places api key so now we need to call this get images from the date view first let's change it so here we have the in the date view actually let's delete the get image and where we call get image here instead of giving it the parameter of the photo reference we can remove that we're going to actually give it the, we're gonna call it from the widgets uh, trip. Then we're gonna call get image on that. So now this should work just as it did before. Instead, the function is just now part of the, um, part of the model. Now we can call this get image, and actually let's call it get location image, which isn't a huge difference, but if we have another image later, we might, want to have them separate. Oh, so sorry, back in the date view, just change this to get location image. And then in our trip, in our detail trip view for the background, we can now, we can actually remove this. And since this is, um, since this is a stateless widget, we don't need to call widget on it first. We can just call trip and then get location image. 
and that should give us the image. So if you save that and refresh it, if you were already on this page, it might not be pulling the, the, the actual reference to the image yet because we just changed that as well, which was actually adding this line to our snapshot. So just go back to the home page and click it again and you'll see that image is displaying as we would expect. All right, let's quickly just add a little bit more information to our to our view here. And so back in our trip detail view, we can, similar to how we do it again in the date view where we have our sliver down here, copy that over. And for now, let's just only print a little bit of text here, which is going to be the trip title maybe the trip date as well, or maybe the trip budget will do. And since the budget is a double, we do need to convert that one to a string. Um, but yeah, you can see these are these have a height of 200 each. So that's why it looks like that. If we keep, just to show you if how this will kind of nicely work with these slivers, if we put the title in here a couple times with a 200, as you scroll up, the image is going to go away and we'll be able to have all our data down here. And then as you start scrolling back, the image is going to pop up very nicely there. All right, great. So now our trips list has a detail page view associated with each of the trips in the list. And in the next video, we're going to go over a little bit more of how to display different types of data on that detail page. All right, that's it for today. Ciao for now. <laughs>